So I got the block back from Brian Rose Racing. Uh, they bored everything out to 86.5 millimeters, so it's half a mil over standard. Um, deck the head surface. Um, did not get it aligned honed, but uh, what we already missed, which it wasn't anything exciting. Oh, for f sake. Okay, um, they did not align hone it, so I'm using standard bearings. Uh, the other day I did uh, <laughs> check the clearances via plastic gauge for all the main bearings. Um, a little overboard, but uh, all the bearings looked really good when I pulled the 2J, the, the factory 2JGE crank out, um, so I wasn't too worried about it, but they were all pretty well in spec. So that's all done, and then currently in the midst of grinding rings, which is absolutely horrible, you know. What are we doing? Grinding rings. How's that going? It's going well, but I'm entirely tired of this process. I'm on my last set. And this is a K24, Only one more. right? K24? B18. Okay, B18? Yes. And uh, you, you, Plus two. You got it stroked, stroked and you had out. them add two pistons on. Right. Yeah, so this, this is, is full custom. So this is it, really more of like a B22.5. Yeah, I know it looks like a 2J, but it's it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. So, yeah. You got the high torque timing belt uh, gear on there too, I see. High torque? No. High torque? No, that's, is that the low torque? You got a, a, a buzz buzz. Yeah, he keeps coming after me. That's fine. Hold on a little bit. Yeah, whatever. It don't matter. Been touching it, can't hear it. Oh, yeah, How it's like grinding. Yeah. This There you have it. All sets. Now time to do five more. So as I'm chugging away on the uh, pistons rings, I'm hoping to get the uh, pistons and rods matched up tonight. Um, but as you can see, I got a whole mess of uh, Brian Crower boxes here. And I actually just got my head back. Uh, I had somebody else put so the BC 272 cams for the uh, BBTI head, obviously, and then the recommended 0300 titanium retainers and uh, springs to go with them. Um, currently, with the ridiculous hours I'm working, I didn't think I was going to have time to sit there and chase valve lash with different shims and whatnot, uh, so I just took it to him had him go back over the head and uh, turned out all of them were actually perfectly in spec for what Brian Crower at least recommends anyway for these cams um, which is actually pretty wild so I could have done it myself but I'm just glad because he uh, he pressure pressure touch tested wow pressure tested each valve um, nothing leaked and in the process of reassembling stuff, he actually found two of the valves were slightly bent, 
Um, that was from when the 1J blew up. I guess uh, those valves were open a little bit when cylinder 3 decided to exit stage left. So I got uh, two new SuperTech valves, OEM size, sent in. He got them, and uh, now the head is 100% together, ready to go. So I'm going to keep tapping away at these guys.